I'm glad. You know how old this kid is? He's eight years old. He went, oh, but still, like, I feel bad. I was like, but that's you telling yourself you feel bad. Don't start with this negative self-talk. This is what it means, dude. And I tell him, when you talk bad about yourself, eventually you'll start believing that it's so true. And when you start believing it's so true, you're going to do things based on that. And you're never going to push yourself to really give your full potential to the projects and to the things that you know can make you really happy. So, the moment you start hearing your, your mind talking bad, you start talking bad about yourself, and it's for everyone in the classroom, stop. And just stop. Stop thinking. How do you stop thinking? Stop breathing. How do you stop breathing? Exhale. Also, I told them about the five-minute rule. Thanks, Mel Robbins. <laughs> I said, count back. A five-second rule. Sorry, I always say five minutes. <laughs> five-second rule. I said, five, four, three, two, one. Count it back and start over, buddy. Replace that negative thought with something more uplifting and positive and do that action. Okay, it's not enough that you tell yourself, but do the work. He goes, well, I'm like that in sports. I do like five different things and everyone else always, you know, like I win, but sometimes I don't, blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, put in more hours. Choose one that you like and put in more hours. Well, I only have two hours when I go to practice. It's like, so then when you go home, Make up an obstacle course. Make up something. Go read a book. Or find someone who did, who does what you are doing in your sport. And then read about what they say. Watch a video about them. Find someone who does what you do and watch and learn and research about them. Therefore, it can show you how much more work you need to accomplish the goal you want. Or to be the person you want to be in this specific athletic uh, activity. He's like, oh... I was like, man, we're always going to have these ups and downs. Failure means you just stop wanting to grow. You gave up. You stop wanting to grow and what brings you difficulty. But the fact that you have a little difficulty or you can't make it to the next step is telling you you need to build up more skill. So if you only gave two hours on this thing, give three hours on it. Give four hours. Don't make excuses. Simply do what needs to get done to get what you want. And you have to work for it. And it's about building skill. Okay? And stopping your negative talk to yourself. Really simple. And everyone, all the the four students I have in this specific class were just watching intently. And they were like, oh. Oh. That's their response. It almost breaks my heart. I wanted to cry for this kid. Really. Because no one told me that when I was a kid. I learned this. Learned this by myself. Learned it by reading and watching other people speak about it and learning their stories. Look, man, people don't wake up learning automatically. I'm sorry. People don't wake up just knowing automatically how to uplift themselves. Okay? This is habitual. You make the skill. You make that lifestyle. And you work it for the rest of your life. And you find every outlet that makes you better. And you put yourself in it. You apply it. And you work hard. Because it's your life. So don't sit there thinking you have to just automatically be great. No, there's people who have good talent. There's people who can um, go ahead with some natural comprehension ability. They know how to apply quickly. And then there's people who build skill. No matter what category you fit in, you're always building skill. So these things are just not inherent. Like You're just not going to fly off the handle and be awesome right away. You might have spurts of this awesomeness, but you won't have it for the rest of your life carrying in everything you do. You'll always have ups and downs. When you hit the downs, how well do you develop your skill to keep yourself up? High maintenance. That's what it is. So kids out there, when you hear this, please don't judge yourself because you didn't win. Judge yourself because you didn't try hard enough. You tell yourself, I didn't try hard enough. That's the judgment. Let me do it again. Let me put hard work. Let me put some more time, more effort. Let me learn some more of this skill and do it. If you choose to... to to give up and stop 